Okay, we're going to call our uh, meeting to order, 7.34. Um, there are no uh, public hearings. This is not. Uh, there are no public hearings on the agenda tonight, uh, but we have a number of new applications. Um, so a number of these things have to be scheduled for public hearings. Um, the first item is uh, Woodbridge Gas LLC, application for a change of use from a gas station convenience store vehicle repair facility to a retail store in accordance with section 3.1.2.2 and 3.14.1 of the zoning regulations for the town of Woodbridge. Um, so that needs to be set up for a... No. no. Oh yes, that's correct. Um, well, I thought we were changing the use. That's not allowed use and it's not required. To a retail store, right. so if it's a, so if it's an allowed use, then <clears throat> it's a change of use, but an allowed use, so it has to come before you for the change of use, but it does not require a public hearing because it's a listed allowed use. Huh. It's too bad they didn't do that last month. Mm -hmm. We made life easier. Yeah. No, just take a look. Uh, then we have an application for the use of a retail gas station in accordance with Section 3.1.2.2. One and three point nine of the zoning regs for the town of Woodbridge. Again, that's an allowed use. Right. <clears throat> but that has um, an application that's been submitted to the Inland Wetlands Agency, so they are here to present tonight. But you cannot act on it this evening because you have to wait for wetlands to act on that. All right. Uh, does it make sense to um, uh, hear it tonight? Uh, or pending any comments that wetlands it, would make? It would make sense because then if you have any additional questions right. or concerns that can be addressed. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, John and Lindsay Odo, 180 Amity Road, entrance at 7 Selden Street, application under section 3.1.2.8 of the Woodbridge Zoning Regulations for the use of a licensed CrossFit facility. Use that's enumerated right. for that section. Uh, yeah, actually, and then uh, also John and Lindsay Odo, 180 Amity Road, entrance at 7 Selden Street, application under section 4.7.18 of the Woodward Zoning Regulations for a use of a special permit for a freestanding sign for CrossFit facility. Again, a hearing because it's a special permit. Okay. Um, uh, the next item is uh, Frank Scioli uh, doing business as Grimaldi's Pizza at 1646 Litchfield Turnpike. Application for a modification of a special permit for a restaurant liquor establishment issued under Section 3.12.1. Special permit. That is a special. That is a that is a hearing. Mm -hmm. And then um, Amity Meat, 2428 Lucy Street, application under Section 3.1.2.8 of the Woodbridge Zoning Regulations for the additional use of a restaurant area in a portion of the existing building and proposed addition to the existing deli and catering business. It's not a use that's specifically enumerated, so it requires a special hearing. So, and, and <coughs> uh, so how is that? Uh, <coughs> different than like for instance when um, um, that's the deli down there. The deli added a bakery when they Katz's. moved. Katz's. When they added a bakery. That wasn't part of their original thing but but that was okay. I'm not remembering what we did on that one but in the district that this is in a restaurant use is not a specifically allowed use. I believe the bakery was a retail use, and retail is allowed in there, so you right. didn't need a hearing. Got it. <clears throat> but this one is being made under Section 8, which is when you don't have a, a use that's enumerated, and you can allow it, but only after a hearing. All right. So we're, we're seeing the intricacies of our use table. I'm, so, I'm sorry, what? We're seeing the intricacies of our use table. Yes, that was a good way to put it. Hmm. So I believe everybody's here this evening because I believe some of the people who need hearings would like to ask you if you could have one sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. But they are here to speak for themselves. 
Mr. Garcia and Mr. Miller are here for the first two items on your agenda. Hmm. Fine. All right. Mr. Garcia, would you like to see a walk? Am I missing the moons here? No. Am I lost in the weeds as usual? I'm not <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for the record, my name is John Paul Garcia. I'm a licensed professional engineer and land surveyor. Licensed to practice in the state of Connecticut, principal office of 190 Fairwood Road, the town of Bethany. I'm here representing Woodbridge Gas LLC in the matter of a change of use. And I think we have to take them kind of together because they both, or do we take them one at a time? They're separate applications. Then we'll take them one at a time. Okay. Um, what we're proposing to do is the existing BP gas station. Well, here's the site, 1655 uh, Litchfield Turnpike, which has a total area of 4.82 acres, and a considerable part of it is on the east side of the West River. And we're not proposing anything to do on that side. We're only talking about using the building at the uh, entrance to Woodbridge on the right-hand side right across from the entrance ramp to the Mayor Parkway. And that's the building that we're converting to uh, retail use from the gas station. The proposal is to um, is to remove the existing canopies, the tanks are already gone, and to clean up the building, uh, add new parking uh, of approximately uh, 13 spaces, a loading area on the west side, or on the east side of the property, and convert this building. Loading area for it. You're required by your regulations to have a loading off street loading area for retail use. Okay, it's not, not the gas or anything. No, okay. this has nothing to do with the gas. This is now a retail okay. use. Oh, that's right. We're not talking about the gas station. That's correct. That would be number two. We're only talking about this. We're proposing to remove the existing containers that are there and get them off site, clean the site up, um, new pavement, new entrance or actually right now there's three entrances anybody familiar with the site there are three entrances there's the one at the south end of the site there's the one in the middle and then there's the one at the north end we met with dot and we're closing down the middle entrance and we're having the south entrance entrance and exit at the light so it's now signalized and we're having a entrance at the north side approximately if anybody remembers where those containers are there's two containers right here, and that's where the north entrance and exit will be. So, and that's basically it. So we're gonna improve the parking flow, we're gonna clean up this building, we're gonna clean up the site. This does not require a permit for mineral wetlands, it's only a change of use. This this application does not require the permit. That's basically it, it's, it's relatively simple. It meets all the requirements of your regulations. Uh, we're not proposing anything strange or anything unusual. Um, so I'm kind of curious about why didn't they just why didn't you just come and ask for this before? Um, I think the question last time was a zoning amendment. Hmm. Right. This is a retail use for a store or some kind of retail use. I, it has nothing to do with gas. I understand. So there's no change of use required. This is an allowed use. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I was just kind of curious. It may have been a it may have been a matter of miscommunication. It may have been a matter of maybe this wasn't the right way to do it. Okay. It's, there, there's any number of reasons why. It's okay. Uh, I wasn't trying to. No, no, I understand that, and I don't disagree with you. <laughs> After listening to your comment, the the, the 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 question arises to myself also. But you know that wasn't my decision, so we didn't do it this way. That was a CYA. No, that's <laughs> not responsible. I go ahead. Go I think ahead, anybody that knows me knows covering in the first place is awful large, but in the yeah. second place, I don't engage in that. You ask me a question, I'll answer it. I, I just don't know. Okay, I appreciate it. Like I said, I think it was a miscommunication. I think we applied somehow differently, and it didn't go that way. Okay. So that's basically it. So we have a, a it's an approved, nice looking site. Uh, we're not proposing to change the architecture of the building. The canopy will be gone. The containers will be gone. The site will be cleaned up and paved. The canopy over the gas. Pumps. Pardon? The canopy over the old gas pumps. That's correct. Those the tanks are already gone. Um, all that stuff is all been done. The only thing left is the canopy and the and the concrete. Is the uh, driveway currently signaled coming out? Is there a signal on that? Yes, there's a signal right here. 
There is a but signal coming DOT, out. The, the signal is right here. Okay. And the signal is right here. What I DOT has asked us for, the light is right there. What DOT has asked us to do, and we're in the process of chasing that down now, is they want uh, a three uh, uh, a loop. They want a, a, a signal loop here to control the signal. They want a separate lens. Right now, there is no lens that points into the site. That's what I. That's what I was. Yeah. Trying to get. The, the, the the site. The, the lenses point different ways. So they're what they want. DOT wants a lens that points into the site. They want a loop, and then they want a revised design for the signal controller, which sits here and here. And so that's what we're working on now. But that's the only comments DOT had were, were that. Other than that, they like the idea of closing off the uh, the middle entrance. They're all right with that far entrance? Oh, yeah. In fact, we originally had this as a one way in, one way out, no left turn. Yeah. And they said, don't do that because you'll never uh, police it. You'll, you'll, you'll never police it. And so they're the ones who told us to make it both ways, just widen a little bit. Um, they wanted the snow shelf, which we gave them, we, and that's why there's no planting here per se. They wanted a, a relatively wide, 10 to 15 foot wide snow shelf, so we gave them as much as, as we could. And they're very happy with this. It's a, it's a vast improvement from their end um, over what's there now. You know, relatively uncontrolled in and out, and only one way in and out. Here you're going to have two. And you don't have to go to wetlands for this because you're not changing the footprint. That's zone. correct. That is indeed correct. All right. You said there weren't going to be any architectural changes, but you are changing the two bay two bay garage, correct? Yes, we're closing that off, and we'll you know we will come back with an architect's rendering of what the building will look like when we take out the grills okay. and the uh, the bays and clean the building up. We will come back. We will we will submit uh, architectural renderings. I mean, right now, if you look at the Litchfield Turnpike site, there's three uh, those roll up grates. It looks like garbage. It does. All right. Any other questions? Do you have a proposed user at this point? Woodbridge Gas LLC. They're the uh, applicant. The owner is uh, KWP Limited Partnership, um, or KFP, excuse me, is the is the owner, but the applicant is Woodbridge. Yeah, there's there's a, a lease, or excuse me, leasing. Okay, that's one. So, uh, yeah, I think you have another application on here. That's number two. But uh, do you want us to hear it since you haven't gone to wetlands yet? Or I think it would make sense to, 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 we're here, it'll take five minutes, I'll explain the use, and and we're done. But we are in wetlands, uh, we stake the site, if anybody wants to go take a look. We stake the limit of clearing, which is just right back here. We're not proposing to uh, to do anything. We're not proposing, to be perfectly upfront, um, to to be frank about what's going on here, we're not proposing any major grading here. It's just taking what's there, cleaning it up, and putting down uh, a competent uh, asphalt surface. The proposal for the gas station is to put up a four island with a canopy and a kiosk, an attendant kiosk right here. And that's basically it. The tanks will be over here. There'll be a diesel fueling, a separate diesel fueling station on the left hand side so that vehicles coming in that want diesel, such as uh, landscaping trailers and stuff, can pull all the way off and uh, not impact any traffic on the turnpike. Fueling is accomplished by tankers pulling into the site, coming around the back of the kiosk, um, and fueling, and then coming back out again. The turning radius is such that they can go in and out. That was one of DOT's asks, was that they do not want anybody stopping in the Litchfield turnpike and backing it. And so the site's set up so that that doesn't happen. Also, uh, one of the things we've done with a number of other gas stations is we've limited deliveries to uh, between 10 o'clock at night and 5 o'clock in the morning. Are you going to do that here, too? We can do that if the commission so desires. We have no issues with that. <coughs> in fact, we actually recommend it in some instances because it puts everybody on notice that we don't want you fooling around on this intersection at, you know, 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> or 8. 
uh, and uh, and also all the containers are being removed. That's correct. There's four containers presently on site. They're, they will be blown. The brush will be cut back to about 10 feet behind the containers. There's there's two here, one here, and one here, and the brush will be cut back to about 10 or 15 feet behind that. That's the limit of clearing, and that's why I said it's actually state if you want to go see how much disturbance there is. And again, what we're doing is we're picking up the drainage, sending it to the front, putting in uh, some new drainage in front. And right now, the chief flows off the back into the river. And right now, we're reverse pitching it, pitching it back towards this little turnpike, picking it up in some new drainage, putting it into a, a grid separator, dumping into the state uh, drainage, which exists at the south end of the site. And there's already a head wall here. It's behind that uh, fence. There's already a head wall here. So we're dumping into that pipe. And DOT is happy with that also. So are we. That's great. Again, there's there's very little uh, there's very little uh, site grading or or change other than the fact that you'll see the uh, canopy shifted over. Well, you're changing the pitch and the pitch of the ground, but it's not by much. Yeah, you know, it's half a foot to a foot. Questions? Good. Do those islands and canopy have setback requirements? Yes, these are set back for these meet the setback requirements for uh, for the zone. And how do you get in and out as a customer? How do you drive in? And you out? come in, come into your pumps, come out. You come in, take a right, go up to the pumps. There's plenty of turning radius here. So you can go in either way. Correct. We envision to be uh, the, the envision that we see is either coming in here if there's light traffic. But then people coming from the from the south can come in either this way or this way and have no no issues. People coming from the north will turn at the light, or if they can cut across traffic, they can cut across traffic. But that's the purpose for signalizing this intersection and timing it. And how much space is between the building and that curb? Just curious. Is there is there a sidewalk or anything there? Yeah, there's a five foot side. Right now, there's a three foot sidewalk, and we're proposing to make it five foot. And from the um, we have 10 foot space and then 26 feet to the edge of curve. Normal, uh, normal is 24. We wanted a little white. And that's contained actually on the on, uh, 24, 24 foot 3 of the parking space. It's 24 foot 3 of the parking space. I apologize. What we did was we pushed the, uh, we made the island two feet wide. That's why we lost the two feet. One of the thing, the only thing the state really wanted over there was a snow shelf. I know. You know, it, it's well closing down one of the entrances. Is pretty and closing down one of the entrances was a big deal. That's key. That's key. And signalizing the intersection. <clears throat> Are you proposing any plantings? Not here, and not. The site is going to remain wooded. The south side is uh, hmm? the, the, the south side is, uh, is 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 the parkway itself. The problem that you have here is twofold, and it, it, it's it's what's that? Yeah, you don't want planting there. You don't want plantings. We, the state won't allow planting over two feet high. The second problem is what's going to happen if they rework this intersection. So in three to five years, you put some trees or something in there, and you may be taking all that stuff out of here if and when they ever decide to rework this intersection. The third thing is you're putting the snow shelf in for just out of snow shelf. So you put plantings on and the next thing you know you're burying it and you're killing it. So the idea is just leave it as either grass or, you know, there's not much you can do with it. No, you wouldn't want to block the vision. Well, no, the state won't allow you anything over two feet. That's a, that's a requirement because don't forget this is a state right away right here. Know the hours of operation for both the gas station and the convenience store? We haven't worked that out yet. I would assume uh, a convenience store would probably be 24 7. And that's an assumption. We haven't made that application yet. We haven't made that application yet. Yeah. So we would probably come back with something on that. But my, my assumption is going to be right now, it's going to be 24 7. Thank you very much.
I want to think. You're oh. going before the Inland Wetlands at which meeting? Next week. Excuse me. Oh, so it's this month as opposed to... They yeah. submitted in June. We submitted last month. Okay. And they, they wanted me to stake it and sidewalk it. They and have to submit on or before the time they submit to you, so it was received by that agency at its regular meeting in June. They're sidewalking independently and they reported to their consultant engineer regarding termination calculation. Uh, is uh, Chris is looking at me. Um, uh, is there, are there anybody here that would like to speak uh, in favor of the application? Is there anybody here that would like to speak in opposition to the application? Oh, fine. <laughs> Did, yeah. Mr. did Mr. Garcia sign there? I think I'm first on the list. Okay. He is. Chris, who's voting? Um, Peggy's voting for Kathleen, and uh, you're voting for Larry. And we should note that both of them are excused. Obviously, I'm very familiar with the particular site, and I think we all are in terms of what it looks like now. And as the town speaks about economic development and the opportunity to help some of the businesses in the area, uh, this may be a unique opportunity to help some of the businesses in the area And that what does one of the things that we offer that most people don't think of, although it kind of has an Achilles heel to it, and the traffic that comes off of uh, uh, the merit right there, and that is certainly you could we could pull people off of the highway that will use the convenience store and the gas station, and hopefully potentially they'll use Starbucks, Katz's, and hopefully Grimaldi's. Uh, now we know the kind of dichotomy of that intersection there may be a little difficult, but uh, I think actually it's a pretty good use for that. I've done a lot of real estate development over, over the years, and that's kind of a tricky site. And I'm going to guess that there are probably not going to be very many other uses that are going to be seeing that as a very appealing site because of the dynamics of trying to get in there and the traffic issues. Uh, I would be quite skeptical whether or not, um, say, a restaurant would take the space, even though it overlooks the water there and that kind of thing. Um, I think it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, not sure what the brand or the name of this is, which is a little bit curious that that didn't come up in the discussion. I guess it'll come up later, but eh, probably will help a little bit with the economic development. So just my thoughts on it. So, okay. Thanks. Uh, is there anybody else who would like to speak in favor of the application? Is there anybody that would like to speak in opposition to the application? Very good. Um, we're going to set up uh, hearings. Um, I guess as a question, are, is everybody, are all these people here? I think so. Mr. Hans is here, and Mr. Rice is here, and I think here. everybody's here. And uh, so the question is whether we'll meet earlier? They would like you to meet earlier, yeah. rather than waiting till September. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Um, uh, well, we're going to need to be meeting uh, before September anyway, uh, depending on what Mr. Looney has to say tonight, just to put him on the spot. Uh, but so we'll be meeting probably, we're going to try to set up a meeting to do a POCD meeting anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, do we have to say when that would be, or can we wait and talk to Michael Looney? If you want to try to combine the POCD stuff with four, with four hearings, Why, where's the fourth? You have the um, two for uh, auto. change of use. You have a sign. You have a modification of a liquor license, and then you have the restaurant use. 
unless you think they're going to go real quick. I, I, I think I vote that they're going to go quick, unless someone Let's disagrees with me. Yep. And I think that we can do it. And but I'm a little hesitant to give you a date before we talk to Mr. Looney. So I would say yes, we're going to meet before September. And uh, if you call Christine in the morning, she'll tell you what the date is. Is that okay? No, they they, <laughs> they 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 did all speak, and they all okay. nodded. They all nodded. They're nodding, nodding, speaking. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Excellent. Um. So we can uh, we can kind of move into our work session. Oh, that's good. And you do have one more person here. It's under that. Um, that's Elizabeth Shemet Smith. Yes. And she is also here. <laughs> He's scheduling those off for him. No, we're not. We're hearing other people because we're going to make decisions to We're going to. We can make a decision on the retail. And we're making a decision on the cash. Yeah, because that's not a public hearing. Right. It's not a public hearing. All these other things are public hearings. They're really here. They know they're not going to be heard. They're just here to see if we'll meet earlier than September. Um, which is no, we don't really want to do that. <clears throat> um, okay, do you want to uh, do you want to uh, talk about the uh, gas? Day? I mean, um, the retail store. Sorry. I think it's pretty straightforward. Exactly. It's permitted use. Right. They're cleaning up the site. <coughs> uh, I have no problems. Maybe. It's going to be an improvement to Woodbridge to clean it up. I mean, we haven't seen the architecture, but I know from the last meeting there was some discussion that they were going to improve the architecture. So that would be a good thing. Anything's an improvement, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which I think you want to. Not ignore that aspect of it. I think it, it behooves them to come into something yeah. that's very attractive, considering that's the gateway to downtown. Uh, well, it seems like a pretty in, uh, um, classic uh, mid-century gas station. <coughs> Is that area in the architecture review board? It's part of the village district, mm -hmm. and that's a decision that's made by your commission. So they're coming back to it. So yes. So no. Okay. So uh, uh, is there a motion to uh, I move accept to the change of use? Plus second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. There you go. See what happens when you pay the big buck. <laughs> second. All right. <clears throat> And as far as the second one, we will hold off until the end of the month. Yeah, because we don't have anything yeah. here. So. All right, great. Thank you very much.